Hello, my name is Rona J. Roger and I am an artist living and working in the Alchemy Garden in southwest France. And welcome to my studio. So Rana, tell us a bit about the Alchemy Gardens. Well, the Alchemy Garden is a nature sanctuary deep in the heart of the countryside where artists and writers can come here to work on their creations and also people come here on retreat to connect with nature and have a break from their busy lives. And I'm going to be running art journeys here for people who think that they can't paint. Um, many people have always wanted to paint but they lack confidence or they've been told that they're no good or they have it, some sort of block in their head that they can't paint. So I will be helping people to find their unique form of artistic um, expression through experimenting with all sorts of different media and techniques that I've gained over the years. So Rana, can yeah. we see some of your pictures please? Oh yes, let's have a little look round. So this is a painting I'm working on at the moment which is called The World Tree and it's on MDF board and I've used gesso as a base which is a primer and I've used a Dremel tool to carve into the gesso before I painted over the top of it and as you can see here, you can get all these wonderful effects, dots and scratching away. I never know what's going to emerge, so I like to just start and then I might say, oh, that's a bit like a bird or I could follow that. Or maybe something comes through and you just follow your hand and you just see what happens. And um, so this is a painting that's not finished yet. Um, but it's, it's an example of what you can do um, with gesso and some of the effects that you can get. Okay, so this, this is a painting on canvas and I've rolled black acrylic onto the canvas first as a base and then I've used oil on top so you can see how you get the effects where parts of the black are coming through. Um, this painting isn't finished yet but it's just to give you an effect of um, an idea of the effects that you can get, uh, different effects you can get with oil. These are just a few of some of the paintings that I did while living in Andalusia in southern Spain. Um, I was really inspired by the landscape there and the white villages and these two paintings are done on MDF board and I've used gesso as a primer before I applied the oil paint and I like to create texture before I apply the paint. Um, you can see here that I've used a comb into the wet gesso. Here you can see the lines here and I just sort of play around first and then when it's dry I start painting. I'm going to show you my favourite painting that I did while living in Andalusia and it's a small mountain village in the foothills of the Sierra Nevada mountains. It was a really really hot day as you can see from the, the sky. In fact it was around 40 degrees but it really captures the, the heat and the energy of the place um, and this little white village which is almost like pottery and in the background are all the olive groves and I did this on um, MDF board and I used gesso as a base and here I've scratched away into the gesso before I painted that was done with a comb and this, these olive trees were done with a, a Dremel tool so I created a lot of texture before I started painting and that's my favourite um, Andalusian painting. Okay this painting is called Moroccan Square 
and it was inspired by a trip to um, Tangier in Morocco um, and some of, some of the, the bright colours um, that I felt from that trip and the, the women, there are a lot of women there um, especially women on the rooftops actually um, and it's just a very joyful simple painting um, I, I did it on paper actually um, so I rolled ink onto paper first before I applied the oil okay so this, <laughs> this uh, um, creation is not finished well in a way it is finished but it's basically a sort of sketch an expression of how I was feeling um, at the beginning of the lockdown. <laughs> um, so it's quite interesting. Uh, I had a lot of time to to delve deep during that time. And here I used um, stretched paper that I rolled black ink over. And then I had um, I used a, a white oil crayon. You can see here, this is why I've rubbed over the stretched paper with the ink on it. And when you scratch away from the oil pastel, you can achieve these incredibly interesting effects. Um, and this is really, it's interesting because I had no idea what was going to come out of this. I was just sort of doodling. But in a way, that, that's a bit like the universe and there's a lot of darkness, but there's something that's emerging out of that darkness. There's a lot of um, new birth, and it's almost like there's a sort of goddess coming out of, out of all this, um, very sort of female energy, but there's a, there's a lot of movement and activity and new birth and new inspiration that's coming from a very dark place. Okay. Um, this is a painting I did following that sketch um, of the lockdown painting. Um, this is oil on canvas and um, I've incorporated some symbols that came through during that time and I've sort of scratched into the oil to get this effect here. <laughs> 